<clears throat> okay, um, this is another infamous video, two in one day, can you believe it? <laughs> no, um, seriously, I'm just going to show you another tutorial because I figured I owe you guys, so I'm going to try, try and try and how, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to try and show you how to make twilight eyes, and um, it's relatively easy, but I mean, obviously there's going to be many ways to do it, but um, the way I'm going to show you is the easiest way, it may not give the 100% best results ever, but it's easy enough. I mean, it's a good way to get an easy way of showing it. It anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first off show you get this picture. You can get it from here. Um, I could put the link if you want me to, but it's not really. You can just use any picture. Just find a picture with eyes in it. Even get a picture of yourself if you want. Anyways, then we can. I'm going to actually uh, do a little bit of an experiment on this because um, yeah just because I can, but um, it's very simple, I'll uh, get into it now and I'll show you how it's done. Um, sorry if the microphone quality goes a bit down because I'm taking the, the microphone and putting it on the table kind of thing. So yeah, um, if it goes down, I'll, uh, no, I'm just going to see what I can do with it. Anyways, now here we go, we'll, uh, I'm going to duplicate the layer just to keep it back up. Hide that, and we're gonna take this picture now. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna do one eye just to show you how it's done. And um, yeah, we take the elliptical marquee tool. Usually, actually, I'd probably suggest you use the pen tool for eyes because they're not usually a perfect circle. So you just take your points and just blah 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 blah. But it's not necessary for this one because it's actually got almost perfect eyes in a circle. So we then uh, sorry, I'm just putting the mic down. I don't know if you can still hear me or not, but um, yeah. Anyways, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the elliptical marquee tool and we're we're gonna first I'm gonna zoom into the eye the eye area. You can take it now. You take the elliptical marquee tool and I like to hold shift first off and to get a perfect circle. Press space to move it around and get the selection the best you can get. Uh, that's a pretty good selection, but it's a bit small, so we're just gonna bring it out a little bit and. Yeah, I'm actually going to let go of shift and just start like free, free selecting almost. That's the one I'm going to use. Now, once you have that selection done, you just make sure that one's the one. This is the layer that's selected and click Control and J. You should now find that you have a picture of just his eye. Sorry about that. And now, the eye picture, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and we're going to desaturate. So now you have a grey eye, you can see here. Now this grey eye we're going to click, uh, make a new layer, we're going to uh, press control and click on this area, uh, not here and not here, but control click on this and we'll get the selection of pixels. Now we're going to fill the pixels with an orange kind of colour or a yellow orange. Um, it's going to come roughly here kind of area, like something relatively dark in a way but still kind of yellowish orange, that's roughly what I'm going to use, yep, um, you can feather this if you want to, but I don't really think that's necessary, so I'm just going to fill it like that, you don't have to, you can do it however you want to do it, but, yeah, then hit control and D, and change this to whatever you want to use, you can use overlay if you want, and that's probably the one I'm going to use, but you can feel free to mess around, you have dark and then all these other ones, actually I might just use color dodge, because color dodge looks pretty cool, that also looks quite twilighty. So color dodge or overlay, I would suggest. Oh no, vivid light looks pretty good as well. Color, co uh, color dodge, overlay, and vivid light look probably the best for this. So I'm actually going to use vivid light because li vivid light because it just looks cool. Um, right now what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control and E to merge it down into one yellow looking eye. Uh, yeah. Then we're going to take the um. Now we're going to get to using the dodge and the burn tools, and we can even edit his pupil a little bit if it comes to it. Actually, no, I'm going to do that now because I don't want to just do that later. So we're going to, I mean, this one needs to be a perfect circle, so we're going to hold shift and drag out from the rectangular marquee tool and put it roughly where his normal pupil is, just like that. We're going to feather that by one pixel, okay, and we're going to fill that with black. On a new layer because we don't want it, don't want to contaminate this layer. So on a new layer, we're just going to fill it with black. 
Control and D, and you see this there. You then grab a one pixel paintbrush. And we don't need the yellow anymore, so you hit D and you switch to white. You take a one pixel paintbrush and put it, put the shine where it was, like there. That's what you do. Then that's this is how I do it anyway. And then we go dodge tool, and we, we can unhide that if you want, but we're gonna edit on the yellow one. The dodge tool you want to do around the pupil. You want to lighten around the pupil. So we're just gonna. I'm actually gonna go around a few times, so just so you can see. Um, yeah, just almost there. I don't know if you can actually see much of a difference, but because yeah, um, there. We're gonna change that burn tool now. Not gonna be big, so we're gonna bring it down to about I don't know seven, seven or eight pixels, and go around the side, just like this. And we're gonna go around a few times in certain areas. But yeah, we're just darkening around there. And um, if it comes that you have this weird kind of thing, you just can go to a paintbrush and select a, a soft, like, 5 pixel brush and use black but use a very low opacity, like a 50% opacity or something. And just kind of darken it around even more. That looks kind of evil in a way, but. You don't have to use that. You can, depending how you feel, you want to use it. I'm just going to leave it on because, yeah. There you go. You can see that kind of gives a bit more of a twilight look. I mean, you can hit Control Z and leave it off. But actually, that's more twilighty. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, that's a very simple tutorial and very, I don't know, kind of depends on what you use. And there's other tutorials on this, other places. And I, if I if I feel like it, I'll do another one because this one isn't the best, and I know it's not the best. I can, I have other versions, so. Yeah, uh, that's it, and uh, see you guys next time.